I'm here to talk about pace linking. Uh, pace linking, uh, we have some Excel stuff. We're doing a report in PowerPoint. And you have data. It could be changing. And by linking the data, if you make a change in the spreadsheet, it will reflect in the slide. You all know how to copy and paste. Let's talk about paste linking the information. For example, we have this data set here. And if I go into here, I highlight this and I want to paste it. I want it to be linked. Copy. I go into here. I'm on the slide here, the second slide. I click on the drop down arrow under paste. I click on paste special. I click on paste link. It's an Excel worksheet object. I say OK. And yes, you can edit the size. You can change things here, make it smaller if you want, move it around uh, as you need. What it does here, for example, it says $25,000 for the first quarter for North America. We go into here, we change this to 30000 The numbers change here. We go back over here, it says 30000 it also works with formatting too. If you're copying a data set from Excel, make sure you have it formatted as you want. And what we have here is a chart. I go into the sales chart page. We have a chart that was created. So if I go into here, I copy it. Again, I paste link. Paste paste special, paste link, chart object. Say OK. We have it. Again, you can resize. Not only can you adjust the data, you can adjust the formatting. For example, I go into here. Let's say I just want to change the color of this one bar. I click in here, you click in there twice, it's part of the charting. I double click. I go into the color here, the fill. And then I could go into solid fill, choose a color. And let's say I want a bright yellow, just make it dramatic. And I had only single clicked on one here, so that wasn't too cool. I'm going to undo. If I want to get all of them a yellow, this one's blue here. If I click here, you can see the brackets around all of them. And now if I go into solid fill, again, I do the bright yellow. We've got that. We go back into PowerPoint. It also works the same with Word, the exact same way. It's not showing the change in here. All we have to do, if you never see it, right click, right click update link it has it in there if you were to print it it will convert it over next thing if you make changes okay I'm going to close out of this I'm going to close out of the spreadsheet because I like the changes that I've made save I keep things in a folder because if I were to go here into the PowerPoint presentation it asks you to update the links. If the file was deleted, you're going to be in trouble. That's why I always say keep everything in a folder. And so it shows things here. It's got the bright yellow there. It's got the revised numbers. So if we wanted to take one last change here, I'm going to go into the Excel. And then if I change the numbers here, like let's just say $100,000 for the fourth quarter in North America. Chart has dramatically changed. Go back over here into PowerPoint. Not showing it. Right click. Update link. Everything is showing up. Pretty simple. Understand the paste special, the paste link. Very important, okay?